How's it going guys? Bluebird Gamer here. This is archived stream footage. If you want to see me live, go to twitch.tv forward slash Bluebird Gamer. No more underscore. We're moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Highlights are out there. My schedule is out there. Most of my archive stuff, if not all of it, goes on my YouTube channel. So even if you can't show up live, you can still see it there. But I'd love to see you guys there live because then you can, you can interact with me in the chat and we can just have some fun. Until then, on with the show. Could have taken that water break any time before I started this, but I decided to do it right when the stream starts. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's Bluebeard Gamer here. Welcome back. We're playing Civ. It has been three or four weeks since we have played in this Civ game. So I spent a little bit of time beforehand trying to re-familiarize myself with what was going on. So we have all of our beautiful cities here. Rising of the Shield Hero did flip away from us, even though we built the Statue of Liberty, so that clearly, that strategy clearly does not work like I thought it did. Which was the entire point of why I built it, so that kind of stinks. Um, looking at our situation, science is by far our best strategy to go down here, but unfortunately, we are woefully outclassed in science right now. Scotland has 360 science. Uh, because I have spied on them a bit, I can see what they're building. So one, they have nuclear submarines, which is kind of scary, but they're building research labs and spaceports, so we're very quickly going to fall even farther behind. Is Hujo here? I don't believe so. No, I, I haven't seen him. You're the first person I've seen gaming suit. Maybe he'll be here at some point. I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to him since last night, so I'm not sure. So I'm trying to think about how we could overcome Scotland. We could build science buildings in all of our cities and we still wouldn't be able to catch up. That's how far behind we are. I'm thinking our only reliable strategy is trying to just beat Scotland militarily. I'm thinking that, that that's our only chance at this point. If we just look at things to buy... Because uh, here's the thing, I want to build... Uh, flood barriers, because flood barriers are important. We still need to take back Rising of the Shield Hero as well. We haven't done that yet. And our Pikin shots are going to get absolutely shredded. Just slaughter the world like you do your pets in the SMP. Ah, excuse me, I take very good care of Buttercup. Now granted, Buttercup has been just, uh, has been stuck in a hole underground ever since the first episode or so, but I have I haven't killed any pets. I was... Someone left horses in my base that I didn't want, but... Oh my gosh, it's Waifu Killer. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I, I did... Yeah, Waifu Killer, I did a poll at, on Twitter about when I should stream for the semester currently, and most people actually said in the morning, so... that that That's why I'm... That's why we're here now. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. What about those horses you had? Yeah, uh, Huja left a bunch of horses in my store, even though I told no one to come in, and I didn't want them. So I just, I, I killed them for the bones. They weren't mine, they were just, Huja left them there and I didn't want them. So, that that's, that's my excuse. <laughs> that's my excuse. Alright, we need to build some things here. I'm just going to cube a bunch of stuff. I can't afford to buy an artillery because that's apparently extremely expensive. My goodness. And we kind of just have to sit up here, bring our army up so we can actually take back Rising of the Shield Hero. I'm going to leave you on my other screen while I play Dead by Daylight. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I haven't... I, in case I've, I've been, I may have missed the notifications, but you haven't been streaming recently, have you, Waifu Killer? I may just have totally missed it, but... I, I missed those streams, they were pretty fun. I didn't tune into the last couple of ones that I saw simply because it was so late at night that I was already going to bed. <laughs> he looked like the history teacher I had. Who? Hang on, hang on. Was it, I don't even remember who was up. Was it this guy? It can't be that guy, right? I don't even, I don't remember who was on my screen. Three years back, hmm. I don't, I don't remember who it was. I, our, my, our, my mind already blanked on who we were talking about, <laughs> embarrassingly enough. Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. I can't say I've ever... I've, I've never actually met anyone who looks like this. Like, as, as weird as that sounds, just that facial structure, I guess. I don't know. 
Maybe I have. Who knows? I just built some science stuff for me, people. There we go. Um, cause here's the here's the problem. I want to I want to beat up the Scots because if we look at science victory, most of the people who are left in the game have researched rocketry. Scotland is already building spaceports, which means they are way ahead of the science victory. They're way way ahead of me on the science victory aspect. I have to get all the way down here before I can even get unlock spaceports. Good thing my college professors are small and thin. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what half my college professors look like because I've been doing online for a few semesters at this point. So when they, when they don't have their webcams on, sometimes I have just no idea what they look like. <laughs> All right, we're gonna actually move this to Kaguya-sama because we want to boost the production on Biosphere. And we have a Swordsman for some reason, so let's just instantly kill him. Just why not, right? Uh, let's station our guys on Scotland's borders here. Or at least, wait, what am I saying? I wanted to... Whoa! What happened to all of Scotland's stuff? Their things got pillaged. Do they not have a campus here anymore? I thought they did. I could have sworn they did. All right, well, we need to keep stealing texts from the Scots. So let's move you to, yeah, they supposedly have a campus here, but it got ruined by whatever happened. So I can't actually steal at the moment. Oh, well, uh, let's send them to, let's send them to Sterling instead. And we need to heal Hercules up here. I'm trying to think about how we're going to do this. Because we're not act. Our military is about comparable with... Oh my gosh, Scotland has started the Manhattan Project. <laughs> Uh-oh. That means they can get they can get nukes. Uh, when will you livestream Minecraft? I don't know if I will. Um, it's certainly something I've considered, and I know I have that in my p potential games to stream. The thing is, I wouldn't be streaming Quarantine SMP, because I already make videos on it. Um, and all I would really be doing in live streaming is just resource grinding, which I'm sure no one actually wants to watch. If I were to live stream Minecraft, it would it would probably be in a to be me just building something in a creative world, or me playing on a Minecraft server, or like Hypixel or something. How's the volume, by the way? Because the volume just got a lot louder in my ears here, so I want to, for the music, I want to make sure people can still hear me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's something I've considered. It's just, I already make, I already make videos about it. What, what about teaching you 1.16 PvP? Yeah, I am, I am atrocious at Minecraft PvP, and I've never really desired to get better, because I don't really ever fight with people, <laughs> admittedly, but... I don't know. I, I just just fighting fighting games in general. I'm pretty bad at. I games like uh, Smash Bros and Street Fighter. I get annihilated at, which I know aren't the same thing. But my timing just seems to be a bit off in games like that. Cause um, Overwatch, for example, which is a completely different game from everything I've already mentioned. I can't aim, which is why I always play as a tank or a support. I mean, to put it into context, I, my one of my friends recently got me hooked on competitive Overwatch, which I've never done. I am, I'm all the way down at something like 1350 for uh, damage characters, and then I'm up at around 1600 for support, because I don't have to aim as a support. <laughs> Hypixel build battle than it is. I actually, yeah, I've, Hypixel build battle, I want to say I made one or two videos on a long time ago, but yeah, that, if I were to stream Minecraft, it would be something like that, which I think would be pretty fun. It's just, it's just not something I have, I'm doing at the moment, but I want to say in my, oh! I captured a Scottish spy. Now I can't execute him because that's not how this game works. But I could tr but now Scot but now Scotland doesn't have their spy, so jokes on them. Yeah, but I want to say that in my uh Twitch game the, my Twitch section for the games I'm considering streaming, I want to say when I mentioned Minecraft, I want to say Build Battle is one of the ones I had listed on there because that's definitely one of the things I would want to do. Let's just use our paratrooper, get him all the way out there. We just need to start moving troops up there, because I'm not scared of the Scots right now. We're actually on friendly terms. So I can just start moving people up so we can retake the city. Try speedrunning or do a hardcore series. I Yeah, I actually did do a couple, um... 
I did do a couple of hardcore Minecraft series back in the day, or at least I started them. I never unfortunately finished them because the Minecraft updates would outdate pretty would outdate my world pretty quickly. And sometimes, and on one of them, I think I actually just died off camera by accident, which meant that obviously the world was over. But um, yeah, I I enjoy playing hardcore. It's a lot of fun. I just from the sanitation, the medicine, education, what did I just get? In arts and dreams. Stealth technology? Where did I get stealth technology? Oh, I apparently stole it from the Scots. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I, I apparently stole from the Scots. That's pretty cool. Um, I actually have done a little bit of speedrunning before, kind of. I, I never, I've never streamed it or recorded it because it's never been something I've been huge into, but... Um, I, I, I did a few hours of, I, I, I practiced a few hours of, uh, Super Mario Odyssey speedrunning, because that, that, that seemed like a fun game for me to speedrun, but, uh, Minecraft for me is just, I don't, I don't really feel like I would enjoy streaming my, a uh, lot, uh, not streaming, uh, speedrunning Minecraft. I don't feel like I would really enjoy it, because I think the main, the main thing I enjoy about Minecraft is just being able to build things, just, just take some time to gather resources, I just... I don't think I would really enjoy it as much, if I'm being honest. Where am I sending these guys? Didn't I say I was sending them somewhere? Oh! We can steal Tex again in uh, Edinburgh, so we will do that. Apparently. Uh, gosh, how fast can these guys march? Not quickly enough, apparently. Get up there. I mean, and these roads are pretty decent at this point, but... My people are still very slow. So yeah, we're, it's, it's, it's gonna take a long time to get up here to take back Shield Hero. But yeah, that'll give us time to catch up on tech a bit more, build some, build up some military perhaps. We do have enough gold now for an artillery, which... Artillery, artillery would really help me here, because there's... If it's, there's <coughs> I'm sorry, I cannot speak today, my gosh. My... their city defenses are insane, so I'm gonna have to probably look into that. I mean, some people only play for building and stuff. Yeah, I mostly do it for the... just... I mostly play it as a relaxation game, so I feel like if I was speedrunning it, that would that would kind of defeat the purpose. But I can definitely see why people would enjoy that sort of thing. Just, it's just not for me, really. Uh, what do we build up here? How about we build the drone? Because then, actually, no, let's build spies. We want more spies so we can catch up to the Scots and tech. Because I'm eventually going to want to be building some drones and artillery. So that I can, out, I can use my artillery to outrange the city defenses and... and uh, weaken it a bit before I attack because otherwise I'm not breaking those walls. That's insane uh, Where are my spies at the moment? Traveling to Sterling Okay, well, we'll send you to Sterling as well There we are go to Sterling We just need we just need to try to steal text at this point because that's our best our best work Am I talking too fast that I'm tripping over my own words? Oh my gosh. At this point, was what I'm trying to say, at this point, our best strategy is by far trying to steal Tex from the Scots to catch up because of the way Tex work with Babylon. If you get that Eureka, you get the tech, the entire tech for free. So when we steal them, we get that Eureka, which means we can steal entire techs like in a Civ 5, which was absolutely busted. So yeah, we let, let, let's do that. <laughs> That'll be really great. All right, we can heal you up. Yeah, but they're actually their walls are only 32 strength. I could probably take them down or start taking them down with pike and shots now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, that dust storm kind of stinks. Bleh. We apparently caught another spy. That's fine. Minecraft speed running is by far one of the fastest growing genres. Really, I didn't. Th I knew that it was something that somewhat popular that people did. I didn't think. I didn't know if it was growing at all. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, I weirdly I don't really watch a lot of speedruns either. The only speedruns I can think of that I've really watched is I've watched Small Ant do a couple of Mario Odyssey speedruns at, at at a couple points, but I just don't tend to watch speedruns. I don't know. Whenever I do watch um whenever I do watch Minecraft or Minecraft Let's Plays, it's things that are just very long spread out. I think the only Minecraft stuff I watch nowadays is Hermitcraft and that's obviously very it's obviously very, um, 
Yeah, it's obviously very long pace. They're already at over a year on the season. Uh, my friend Nerdy used to st stream Geometry Dash and went to speedrunning. He grew from 200-ish to about 1,000 viewers to stream now. Wow, he's seventh in the world. That's that's pretty crazy. That guy must be pretty good at it. I'm actually running into the problem now of my mi I have too big of a military to actually fit over here. Yeah, but as, as we can see, the pike and shots alone are practically taking the city. So when we get our uh, field cannons over here, it's going to be a walk in the park. What? You said you could do that, and now you can't do that? Now there's... I, I don't know what was going on with those guys. Yeah, I played a I think I remember the stream I played a little bit of Geometry Dash. My eyes were... I had such a headache by the end of that hour, though, unfortunately. I don't think I have epilepsy, or I don't think I experience epilepsy, but... Those flash, those flashing lights at the very least do bother me a lot. <laughs> oh, interesting. So I give, if I give him some oil and some horses and some spices, he will give me one of these heroic relics. And I'm actually going to accept that deal. Because while the gold isn't much, I have the perk with my religion that if I have those heroic relics in my city, they give something like triple the yield on all of their stuff. Yeah, so look. I think he gave me Relic of the Twins. Yeah, here we are. Relic of the Twins. Which that alone is giving me 30 tourism. <laughs> so I have 320 tourism about. Which, I'm actually still not winning a culture victory. For some reason. Let's see. What, what's the reason for that? I think the reason is because I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of local tourism. Because I just, I don't. I haven't. Try out Ori and the Wisp. I have heard about it. I've never bothered looking into it, though. So, what, what kind of game is it? The only, I've, I've heard of it once. And then I have, once or twice, I should say. And then I have seen, what am I trying to say? Where did my game audio go? Did anyone else hear that? <laughs> What the heck just happened? See, Windows 10 Play Store. Oh, I never thought of checking there for it. I think we got it? My, fi my army finally got up here, and I already took the city back. I'm keeping it, of course. I don't want Byzantium back in the game. I'd rather have it for myself. So there we go. Just build me all that. Actually, can I buy a Flood Barrier? I cannot. I would prefer to have bought a Flood Barrier. Although we can buy a drone, but we, at the same time we could also buy artillery, so... Hmm. Yeah, but I've never, I, but basically I was gonna say, I've heard of Ori and the Wisp once, and then when I worked at Best Buy, they, that would be one of the games they would show about three or four seconds of on their little, uh, on their little media screens. So, I, admit, I, admit, I admittedly don't know a lot about... Why is it saying he can move there when he can't? Why, why is the game lying to me? Look at this. It, see, for example, it says I should be able to get all the way to here. And then it stops him up here. I, I don't understand why it's doing that. I also forgot the new kit. Oh, someone broke into my store. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've grown to expect it at this point. But, yeah. What is it? That, uh, that lemon fella guy or something? I'm not really aware of all the new people on the server. Didn't... The applications open up again recently. I, I don't know who all the new people are. I've I haven't been able to, I haven't played on the server much very recently. I've been doing uh I, I had a full day of classes yesterday, so I don't even I think I was on for maybe twenty or thirty minutes yesterday, and that was it. I have nineteen envoys. <laughs> Do I use them for something? I could just put seven envoys into Vilnius, and they'd automatically be my I'd automatically be their suzerain. I mean, why not? I guess. Oh. So here's something interesting. Because our maps are shared, that get, that apparently counts as me circumnavigating the globe. <laughs> because they have explored this little bit that I hadn't. So that counts as me circumnavigating the globe. That is pretty great. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. You know what? I'm not going to complain about it, though. It's really... That, that's just dumb. <laughs> Uh, wait a second. Why don't I just parachute him out of here? Get him out of the way. Let's send him over to N Nalanda. Hopefully he doesn't get killed by a volcanic eruption or something. What? 
What are you doing? I told you to go there. I told you to go there. What are you doing? I feel like my guys aren't telling them what I'm to do. What I'm. I feel like my guys aren't doing what I'm telling them to do. That's what it feels like, at least. And I don't know why that is. So here's the question. Hercules is a very strong fighter. We have, And if we want to fight the Scots, we definitely want to incorporate him in our attack. We have 18 turns left that he is going to be in our game before he retires again. So, do we want to start buying stuff now? We had a lot of gold there, actually, which is pretty great. We can just straight up buy an artillery. And we can start getting some really powerful artillery, and that should... That should help us out for t attacking the Scots, because... 108 city strength? Oh my gosh, my best is what? Oh, never mind, I have 130, apparently, because Hercules is there! <laughs> but that's just because Hercules is there, that number is gonna go down the instant I move him. We got chemistry, just finished natural history, uh, do we need any of this stuff? Do we need any of this? I don't think we need any of this, really. We don't need this anymore, actually. We can take that out. We are building the Biosphere, so I'll keep the bonus production to Wonders perk. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Because we have to try to figure out how to catch up with the Scots. That's our difficulty. And it has to be economic, actually. I don't know why I'm looking at the military slots. Um, we could do ad additional ad industry adjacency bonuses. That'll help out with building things. Which is always good. So if we station our artillery here, for example, the range of two, we can then buy a drone. And I could keep him back here or something. And he's gonna give extra range and extra bombard strength to this artillery. So we should be able to actually start conquering this stuff. Although I think I would prefer the artillery... Here? I'm trying to find a... I don't think there's a spot where I could put this artillery that I could shoot both of these. So we'd keep them over here for now. And we would move you there as well. I'm just trying to think of the best way of fighting the Scots here. We did get a promotion as well. Uh... Still, still great works as if two levels more experienced. Why not? We do have antiquity sites. I'm going to ignore those. We did steal... I, th I, think, I think we st stole the boost to lasers. So we are catching up in techs. We really needed to get into our spy game there if we wanted to catch up. Which we did, and it's definitely going to help. Uh, what do we need to go for? Let's go for democracy. Because that's, that's just a great government to have. And I chopped down my rainforest, so that great scientist is useless. We have met some new city-states, though. Yes. I want them to be my friend. Trade rest of foreign cities earn plus one gold for each luxury resource at the destination. Extra gold for me. I'm a huge fan of that. And we've already made it into a golden age for the next, for the next era, which is awesome. How long do we have on this? 27 to 47 turns. We've really done a lot better this time around than the last era, when we obviously went into a dark age, and I think My Hero Academia and Rising of the Shield Hero flipped, which both of those are bad to flip. I just need you to get down here, tank. I don't care how you do it, just get down here. I should actually just be auto-controlling these guys and having them do that, because I don't want to have to deal with this. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. I just said I was going to automatically control them, and then I start manually clicking these. <laughs> so that tells you what I know, apparently. Um, I do need to check before I move all my troops away. I kind of want to leave my pike and shots up here. Although they could be AT crews now, and that would be useful in the fight. Uh, are the Maori... The Maori are not allied with the Scots at all. Do the Scots have any allies? They're friendly with Australia, but that's it. So we don't have to worry about bringing anyone else into this war, which is good. We're just going to keep Hercules there. We need to take out this. This is very important to take this out because that's going to be shooting us and we don't want them to shoot us, obviously. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Scotland completed research on guidance systems. 
That's bad. That's all the way up here. They have ro they have access to rocket artillery. <laughs> They're building a modern ar armor army. That is a straight up upgrade to the tank to the tanks that I have, as well as it being in an army as opposed to a core. We are gonna need these AT crews down here. Actually, we are gonna need them. It's not gonna do much against modern armor, but we need some kind of anti cavalry because they also have helicopters down here. Gee willikers, this is going to be difficult. Yo, Coupe, you want to be friends again? Yes, you do want to be friends. Do you want to make an alliance? There we go. We're allied with the Maori, which means that they they sh they may actually join in our war against the Scots. I don't know if that's offensive or or just purely defensive. But if they were to help out in the fight, that would be nice. It's not going to change the war too much, but it would be nice. Let's get a research lab. We need to upgrade our science. We're, we're doing awful in terms of science, but that's just kind of... That's just the nature of Babylon. Minus 50% science overall. Otherwise, we'd be doing really well on science here. We'd have, a, we'd have what would that be? About 340? Almost? Close. It'd be closer to 338. Let's... We have another spy, actually. Let's go send him. We want to keep spying on the Scots. Send you to Dumfries. And you can try to steal nuclear, nuclear fusion, which would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be really nice for us. There we go. So our artillery is now set up. Next turn, we'll be able to start shooting this stuff. My tanks are currently walking through their lands, so that'd be an awful time to declare war on them. We want to wait till our army's back over here. And same with you. We just need to get our army over here and see if we can do something about them. Ooh, John Curtin is not a fan of us, apparently. Um, allied with their enemy. Oh. Yeah, stinks to be you, Australia. I... Oh, they just completed research on nuclear fusion. Oh my gosh. Is that what I think it is? That is thermonuclear devices. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do here exactly? I'm trying to see what he's doing. He was establishing gain sources. So we're going to have you start stealing nuclear fusion maybe? No, we're going to have you do that. Hmm. Let's leave our army here for now. We can't upgrade them. We can't upgrade them to mechanized yet. We, let's just make an infantry army to have one. It also gives us air score. But that's not. That that, act, that actively does weaken our army a little bit. But having an army is nice because it's just it's easier to move around. Come on over here. Hmm. This will be difficult. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, this will be difficult. Uh we'll, we'll try our best though. We're basically taking all of our armies away from the north because the Maori are allied with us, we have nothing to worry about in that regard. We don't have enough money for another artillery. I would love to have two artillery. Having just one is a bit of a shame. Oh, sounds like there's a rock band going off somewhere. It sounded like about a three-star performance, I think. Oh, no! I think our campus was just erased. <laughs> no! Our campus was completely obliterated. It's just gone now. Oh, my gosh, dude. I can't believe that. We were trying so hard. I'm just parachuting him around, because why not? I don't even have a good reason. What are you doing here? Why are you going there? I don't want you to go there. I want you to stay here, you knuckleheads. What are you doing? Uh, we'll station tanks there, I guess. Tanks are going to be pretty bad against the, the, the district here, so we're going to hope the artillery can pull their weight. Just come over here somehow. I don't care how you get here. Just get over here. I 
Actually, what would it take to... A dust storm has happened in the Maori area. That's fine. I don't particularly care. Let's look at Kaguya-sama. Let's see what city... I could revive Maori. Or Maui, sorry. 96 melee strength would be nice in the fight. And that's apparently it. I thought I had more than that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. We're getting about ready to do this. First, we want to use his charges, though. Oh, it has to be unowned. Ah. Oh. Well, no, we're just not going to do that, then. We're just going to use him for fighting. That's about it. Hmm. Yeah, I think we could do this. We do have a superior military. Here's the thing. He can only launch nukes, I'm pretty sure, from nuclear sil from missile silos. And I don't see any missile silos currently. He does have a military engineer, so he could build one. And that would be bad, because then he could start nuking us. Because I'm sure he has nukes at this point. Uh, we're going to hope he doesn't have nukes, though. Because, obviously, we don't want him to have nukes. And we're just going to keep parachuting this guy around, because why not? There's not much else for him to do. I want to see if I can get these guys linked up, and then I can make them into a core. For really, for, for the only reason being that... Poland is really going... Whoa, that was a five-star rock band performance there. Good job on their part. Uh... Where was that great admiral? I'm going to instantly use him and I'm going to get 25% less war weariness. That's fine with me. That's all I really need it for. There we go. We now have a field cannon core, which is nice. Parachute this guy around again. Wee! <laughs> I'm just parachuting him around. There's no good reason for me doing this. It's just giving him something to do. And that's the only reason. Alright. We have we're, yeah, we're gonna have to declare war on the Scots here pretty soon. Their army is only slightly weaker than ours as well, so we have to play things very carefully. Uh send you down there. Whoop. And you can just come down here. Where are my other armies? I have more somewhere. Oh, there's one pike in shot. That sounded like four stars, I think, that one. If you don't read the newspaper, you're on info. Oh, let's we, we got that now, that's fine. I think I was just clicking on the lighting towards something from what I remember, so that's not a big deal. Um, we're fine for now. We stole nuclear fusion! Woo! <laughs> Good job, guys. We did it. Uh, let's, let's get extra production towards space race stuff. We're not there yet, but we'll want to have it to catch up to the Scots. Disrupt rock trees have two levels more experience. That'll be great for us. That'll be absolutely amazing, actually. Uh, once he's out of there, which he is now, I think now would be the time when we could actually declare war. Oh, wow, we're only one turn away from rocketry. Oh, gee willikers, they're all working on a satellite already. The Scots aren't even totally ahead on science anymore. That looks like it's going to be the Australians. How are we doing so rubbish? <laughs> How are we doing so rubbish? And the Scots technically have a, large, a stronger military than us now, so that's bad. Yeah, they just straight up have that modern armor army, which is terrifying. We just need to put our strongest dudes on the border and just hope for the best, I think. Uh, you can combine there. We'll be making them into an AT crew army, which will be very useful for us. We'll send you over there. 
Just because why not? Yeah, but how, having Hercules and Maui is going to be nice. Hmm. Some city just flipped. I have no idea where. It's not really a huge concern to us. Uh, Modern armor would be nice to have. It really would be. But so would machine guns. Do they have any airplanes? I don't think they have any airstrips anywhere. So I'm not seeing any planes. Planes were busted strong in Civ 5. I don't think from what I remember, I don't think they are in Civ 6. So I just never I just never build them. Uh nuclear submarines we don't need. Having modern AT would be great. Let's actually go towards that. We have enough money for another artillery. I could I could buy tanks to try to get the modern armor boost, but we're not going to. Because I feel like right now artillery would actually be more useful for us. There we go. We now have Pike and Shot Army, which is decently strong. Once we upgrade it to, uh, we can hold, we can wait on upgrading them. We can just up upgrade them straight to modern AT. That'll be pretty useful. We'll send you over there, just because we need something to do with you. Let's go nuclear fission boost. Why not? Our army is technically weaker than theirs. I don't know where their army is, though. I see one modern armor army, and that's all I see. Where are we? We're in Dumfries? Yeah, he's working on the Earth satellite. That's annoying. Uh... Let's do spies operate at two levels higher. Why not? Hmm... Oh, there is religious warfare going on in our area, apparently. Embassy's fine. Wow, Poland's rock bands are incredibly powerful. They're doing really good. Or they're doing really well, sorry. Are they... Yeah, they're ahead of me on culture victory now because of that. I just haven't bothered. We're gonna fight that, although that may be a mistake because our apostle may be about to die. Real quick, let's buy some Apostles, so that we actually have some fighting force should we need it. There we go, four Apostles should be enough for now. One amenity and two housing. We're definitely gonna have to slap that in Kaguya-sama. Their housing is just constantly a problem. Sewer for some extra housing. Just gonna have you go to sleep for now. I don't need you for anything. Yeah, we're gonna hold off and just upgrade them straight to modern AT. Because that'll be really useful. And we'll put you over there, and that'll allow you to shoot stuff. Luckily, they're fighting each other down here. That's a pretty basic. That's a two or three star rock band thing. Predictive. Know not where he will be attacked. How did I get this? Every quarter. Oh, I stole it apparently. <laughs> okay. Ignore the fact that I don't have any of the text necessary to get to here. I can already launch the exo exoplanet expedition. <laughs> Obviously, I can't because I'm not there with the other techs yet. How I just stole it, I guess, through luck. I'll take it. I don't. I don't know how I got it, but that's fine with me. Um, we'll just do order, I guess. None of these are particularly good so far. Plus twenty strength and religious combat. That's exactly the one we wanted. I'd like a relic, and I'd like a relic. There we go. See now that we're now that our spies are coming online, they're doing great work for us. And you can come down here in about ten turns. You're gonna be much more useful to us than you are right now. We're gonna station you there, and that will actually. Uh, 
We'll put you there. That'll allow you to heal and everyone else can walk through. Let's try to steal nuclear fission. Let's just try to... Let's just keep trying to steal techs. That's definitely what we want. Oh, that is... That is a jet fighter. Hmm. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, uh, that is a pretty strong thing. Hang on a second. We just lost the suzerain somewhere. I want them back. <clears throat> oh, we don't actually we don't have enough envoys anymore. We'll just do that. Hey, gaming suit. Thank you for raiding, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot, actually. So thank you. Hmm. That's not good. They have jet fighters. We don't even have aluminum. Oh no, we have aluminum, we don't have an aerodome though, so we can't actually build fighters of our own. The best we can do is we can build, we can't even build anti-air actually, because we don't even have, we don't have an unlocked. That's bad, um, that's really bad. This, oh my gosh. I tried with four people but from that one person. Hey man, it's good. I, I I appreciate also I appreciate the support anyway. It's really kind of you. Uh, Civ Six, I'm, I'm sure, isn't the most exciting game, so I can kind of understand why. Uh, yeah, they have cavalry army. They have mostly of artillery stuff. So once I up or, or cavalry stuff. So once I upgrade, the, let's actually upgrade these guys now. Now having an AT crew army is really going to help out in this fight. Uh, listen. I'm just gonna do this. This is probably a mistake. And he is not at war with the Maori. Even though we are allied, we're, we're not at war with the Maori. We are still friends with Poland, though. I could pay to have a military alliance with Poland, so I will. It's 11 gold. No biggie. That doesn't, that doesn't mean they're in the war, but I'm allied with two people now, so that's that's cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not even really sure how the alliances work. I've never really bothered studying up on it. I don't even know how I get points for it. I don't know. <laughs> not going to pretend I understand. All right, but now that we are at war, let's do some of this. Oh man, minus 16 defenses. That's so strong. Oh man. Oh, that jet fighter is going to be annoying. This, this is actually going to be much more difficult than I've made it out to be. So I don't know how this is going to work. Let's bring you down here and give you some amenities and housing. So my hair academia could use some more housing. They were really bad on housing, actually. I just now kind of fixed it. I actually I don't like that the Maori have all these troops on my border. That is concerning, even though we are uh, even though we are allies. I don't know why they're doing this. I would just ask that they stop doing it. <laughs> they also have their apostles running throughout my lands, and I don't like that. So let's send them down here. And help out with religious pressure. Hmm. Yeah, this war may have been a mistake. Oh my gosh, his modern armor crushes us. And he has that great general, which is annoying. Let's just do that and move his great general out of there. Where did it get moved? Oh, he got moved there, so it didn't really do much for us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my tank army got- my tank corps just got destroyed abs entirely. Gee willikers, that's bad. Um... Heaven is under our feet. Yeah, the jet fighter is gonna be annoying to fight against. Oh, we did get the biosphere, though. That, 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 that's cool. It's not really gonna help us, but that's cool. Um... I don't know what to do against his modern armor. This is going to be a big problem. A spy, I guess? Yeah, declaring this war may have been a mistake. May, may have been a mistake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we'll, we, have, we have to do something against the Scots. 
We're we don't have a lot of options here. We don't do a lot of damage to him either. I'll say that for sh uh, Hercules actually does a lot of damage against modern armor, so that's great. That's what we needed. We need to get our AT crew in here somehow. They're the ones that are really going to be helping us out. We could send in Maui, but Maui could very easily get messed up, so we're not going to. Uh, let's give One Punch Man some production. Why not? We're not building wonders anymore anymore, as far as I can tell. At this point, there really aren't any other wonders we need. Oh my gosh, he had cities over here the whole time? Never even seen them before. He does have nuclear submarines, so I imagine this privateer will probably die soon. Just out of nowhere. I can give him some resources for the Epic of Oya. Yes, please. Absolutely. Oh my gosh! The jet fighter doesn't even take any damage from that. We need to get anti-air. Or some fighters, or something. Is there any city we can build this stuff in? We don't have an aerodome at all. Um... Look, it's cool that you're building that and all, but we need an aerodome. Get me an aerodome. I need that now. <laughs> Can... Have I got... Have I given you the upgrade to where you can't buy districts with gold? Yeah, that's unfortunate. It would have been nice to have just instantly bought an aerodome and started working with that. We could build an aerodome over here, because why not? And then we'll have it for the Maori if we need it. Uh, yeah, that infantry got annihilated. Um, let's pull you back a bit, please. Hercules also took a bit of damage. I would pillage that district, but that's not actually how Hercules works. So we're gonna hold off with him. We need our artillery to... I don't know how we're going to fight this jet fighter. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. It's just, oh my gosh. He, he, he can just keep the cavalry there because it actually buffs this up. Um, Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to break through. Hmm. I could put stuff there. But it's just going to get shot at. So I guess we will fortify. Now Maui's going to move in, I guess. I... I don't know what to do here, guys. This... I met, I didn't think... I thought the jet fighter would take damage from attacking us. That's what I thought. Apparently that is not the case. I, Because in Civ 5, if you attacked any unit with a fighter or a bomber, they would take some damage at least. Oh my gosh. Maui just took so much damage. The whole reason I brought him in was for his combat strength. That's a bad sign. We did steal nuclear fission, which is cool. We don't have any uranium, though. Have we discovered uranium? Didn't we just... Oh, we still haven't discovered uranium! Oh, for goodness sakes, do that one... Oh, hang on. I have to do this properly. Do composites, then do combined arms. We can... We need to, I don't want to have to nuke Scotland, because nuking it just isn't fun, but we're, we don't have a lot of options here, do we? This is bad. This is a bad sign. What I think we're going to do is we're going to leave Maui just here, and if someone attacks Maui... Oh my gosh. This is my AT crew, the guys who, who are designed to fight tanks, and they're still losing. To be fair, we're attacking across the river, which is never a good idea. But, yeah, that, that, that's scary all the same. I mean, we could shoot the modern armor for just a little ping. It was not going to do much. I just don't know what we do about this jet fighter. It's absolutely terrifying. That's a very weak apostle there. Don't mind if I do... Get out of here. 
Get wrecked, son. And we're gonna bring these guys up here to fight that apostle. Why not? Uh, hiya. I I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Um, okay. We have a really good spy, which is nice. That that's always good. I'm trying to figure out how to get this guy back home without him getting instantly sunk by a by a Scottish nuclear submarine. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh my gosh. Um, do that, I guess. T tank their fire. I don't know. We could try to spawn some rebel units to have them pull back their troops. That could be a fun diversionary tactic. We'll try it. It's going to take six turns, and there's only a coin flip chance of it working. Oh, well, there goes them. And that one jet fighter did 83 damage to these guys, which is concerning, to say, to say the least. Hang on a second. Shoot the cavalry first off. We, we need to at least try to kill one of these guys. We can't apparently kill one of these guys. Oh, we can do that. There we go. He's taken care of. We need to try to pull you back because you're about to die. Maui is also not looking so hot. I mean, that one jet fighter is single-handedly keeping them in this fight, which is really annoying. I don't know what to do about that. I didn't think the jet fighter would be that powerful, but apparently it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nuke them. I mean, it's something I... It's, I don't like to nuke them if I can at all help it. The problem I'm running into is I don't have nukes yet. So even if I decided to... I, I just don't have the nukes to actually do it. So, I'm working on the Manhattan Project, and I'm going to be discovering uranium eventually, which means I could build one or two, but then I would have to build a missile silo to use them. It's a... It's a I'm not going to say it's a hassle, because that makes this, that makes me sound lazy, but it's going to be very difficult to pull off. We're just going to keep him penned in there, and you guys can go heal. Ah, uh, this is... Yeah, this is not going the way I had hoped. Scotland is annihilating us with this one jet fighter. The modern armor really isn't even the problem. The problem is they can just... Oh! Well, that's concerning. Oh my gosh, Poland is actually doing really well on the culture side. Uh... <laughs> that's bad. So here's a problem I'm running into now. Poland is getting close to winning a culture victory. So, if I knock out Scotland for some reason, Poland will instantly win, or they, they will probably instantly win a culture victory. If I make peace with Scotland to try to go after Poland, then Scotland may win a science victory. Gee willikers, this is, this is bad. This is bad. Um... Go do that. May as well use them, I guess. We do have a promotion for our artillery, at least. We will do a combat strength and defending. We want to keep these guys alive. Same with you. Although I'm sure the jet fighter will still annihilate us. Let's try to fight this. Oh, they're living with a sliver. Um, yeah, that, that was a bad decision. The vast majority of our army has been wiped out completely, so... That didn't really work out, did it? Oh my gosh. Whoa! What's with all these apostles out of nowhere? Mallory, what's going on, guys? Why, why, why are you doing this? Why do you have to be this way? Uh, we can keep stealing text, though, to catch up, because that's probably our best bet. Uh, Kaguya-sama... We need to build a spaceport. Why aren't we doing that? Uh, build it over there, I guess. Yeah, this is, yeah, this game is not looking good for us. Uh, but they're also building the Manhattan Project. Ugh, they're, 
There's too many things. Stop building a spy. Now is not the time. Build the spaceport first. We need to try to start catching up, because we are catching up in some techs by stealing from Scotland. We are gaining in the tech category. Although we are now fourth place. Which is concerning, because we haven't built anything important yet. Put you there, I guess. Hmm. To be fair, I probably didn't play Babylon well enough to justify using them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, these jet fighters are insane. Uh, what do we do here? Who is winning diplomacy at the moment? Poland is. So, let's put our points... Oh. Let's just ban oil power plants. I don't know. Um... I don't know. More population growth for me, please, I guess. I don't have any of this stuff, so... I'm actually gonna vote it down. Because it... Well, I'll vote up so I can participate in it, but I can't actually benefit from any of this, I don't think. I get some tourism, which is nice, but... None of that stuff really helps me. We're gonna try to have Poland lose some diplomatic victory points here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Hercules is gone. Oh, no, Australia just gained some. Everyone else apparently voted for that stuff. Uh... Oil power plant did get banned, which is interesting. That is interesting, because I also got some diplomatic victory points for that. There is now a competition going on, but I'm not going to have any points from this, because I don't have any stadiums. Uh, I don't think I have any aquatic centers, so I'm not going to be getting any points from any of that, so... Don't know what the point is, really. Let's get another spy, though. We need to be spying on people. And I guess we will just shoot things? That's about... Our army is basically gone. We lost the vast majority of our army in that conflict. So, yeah, it didn't exactly go according to plan, now did it? Hmm... Wow! What the hey? 84 damage? Dude, what happened? Why was that so crazy? Um, we need to keep an eye on Poland. They are getting dangerously close to a culture victory. Oh no, they just, they just instantly wiped out my artillery. Dude, what the heck is up with jet fighters? That is unfortunate. If I had known that that jet fighter was going to be that big of a concern, I would not have declared war. Uh, I want to pull you back into the walls for safety. Because it's about the only place... And they can't, they can't one-shot an infantry army. I'm certain of that. There we go. We're just getting rid of all the Zoroastrianism around this area. We're promoting God and anime, because they are on our side after all. We'll have you heal up. We'll, we'll put you there. And you're going to get also destroyed by that one apostle. Which is unfortunate. I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, we are... It's not looking good for us. I'll say that much. We have to figure something out. Or we are active... Or we're actively going to lose this game. Hmm. We didn't even dent Scotland. They're attacking a drone for some reason? Like... <laughs> That's fine, I guess. It's not... Although, I, I did spend 1,600 gold on that, so I should probably be a little more careful with it. We'll pull you back in here and heal up. Uh-oh. Yeah, Poland is getting really close to the culture victory. Um, We have to do something about it. I don't know what we can even do. Biplane? I have jet fighters! Why in the world? Murder Poland. I can certainly try. The problem is they're all the way over here. I can't really get to them. Hmm. 
Yeah, this, uh... This has not gone well. <laughs> this has not gone well at all. Uh, can I make peace with Scotland yet? Two turns. I know I just built an aerodrome, but I don't want a... I don't want a jet fighter at the moment. There are other things we need to build. We need to get this flood barrier built. Oh, we lost that spy. He was a really good spy, too. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This is... It's not looking good. Let's see. How, we have... Oh, actually just turned 11. So, let's take a look at our current situation, and then we'll be calling it. Uh, Poland is probably about to win a culture victory. It's not looking good. Uh, everyone else is getting really far along for... Poland's actually doing also really well in a science victory as well. Which is bad, because we have not even built a spaceport yet. At least Coupe is also doing really bad at a science victory. Uh, score? We're in the middle, so the game's probably not going to go to a score victory anyway with how everyone else is doing. Uh, religion? I literally just had a religion so no one else could win a, win a religious victory, so that's fine. Uh, I'm closest to winning Domination, but the problem is my military just got absolutely destroyed, so I can't really do anything there. And I am winning Diplomacy victory at the moment, which is interesting. The problem is I'm not going to be able to continue to do that because... I'm going to get downvoted by everyone else. But Diplomacy is probably our best bet now. I've done a lot of catching up in science, but I don't think I'm going to be able to surpass in science. Which is a problem. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out next time though. Thank you guys for watching Gaming Suit, I appreciate the raid. It was good to see you, Waifu Killer. It was good to see you as well. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I am streaming, what's tomorrow, Friday? Oh my gosh, that jet fighter does so much damage. I'll be. I think I'm streaming. I think I'm streaming Fall Guys tomorrow, and then Saturday's Awesome Knots. I know for. I'm pretty sure. By the way, I'm gonna have to change my schedule for Thursdays and Fridays because I know. As far as I can tell, I will be working Thursdays and Fridays. I just don't know the hours at the moment, so I'm pretty sure I will have to change things at that point. But for now, we're fine. It'll be maybe the beginning of February when we'll have to start looking into modifying that. But for now, we're fine schedule as you see it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is Bluebird Gamer signing off. God bless America.